There's no hope, sire. We are defeated, sire. For 20 years we followed you. You made a road of glory through Europe. We cannot even save the suburbs of Paris. The Austrians. They're in Versailles. The Cossacks are watering the horses in the Seine. They can hear the Prussian cannon in Montmartre. There are four nations, four armies, four fronts against us. Abdicate. Your enemies will allow you to retire to the island of Elba with a personal guard of a thousand men. It is an honorable exile, sire. There's nothing left for you to do but abdicate. Sign, sire. You must sign. Why? So you all can keep the titles, the titles I gave you? What were you before me? Nothing. I made you. You must abdicate, sire. Sire. Listen to me, Ney. If there's anything I despise, it's ingratitude. What can I do? What? I sent to the Emperor of Russia for peace. He refused me. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? We can fight! Fight! I fortify Paris. I disengage from Austria. I find a line of retreat to Italy, and above all, we must consolidate, consolidate, mobilize, mobilize, train the recruits on the march. There are no more men to mobilize. The army doesn't want the same thing to happen to Paris as happened to Moscow. Wellington. Wellington? Why is it always Wellington? Wellington, 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 Wellington. Why are you all so afraid of Wellington? Is it because he beat you in Spain? Is that why? France will not follow you. France will follow me to the stars if I give her another victory. You have no choice. You have to give up the throne. <laughs> oh, nay, nay, nay. The throne? Do you know what the throne is, Ney? The throne is an over-decorated piece of furniture. It's what's behind the throne that counts. My brains, my ambitions, my desires, my hope, my imagination, and above all, my will. I can't believe my ears. You all stand before me, waving a piece of paper, crying, abdicate, abdicate. I will not! I will not! 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 Men.
When? This morning. There's nothing left to do. Sign. Marshal Marmont has surrendered his army to the Austrians. It was his last hope. you all. With this kiss, remember me. Goodbye, my soldiers. Goodbye, my sons. Goodbye, my children.
Majesty, the monster has escaped from Elba. We can thank God he's mad enough to land in France. Well, it's not dramatized yet. Napoleon and his followers, a thousand men. They're not really dangerous yet. Marshal Salt, you'll keep command of our troops here in Paris. Marshal Ney, you will be the first to confront the werewolf. I know you love this man. I did. Once. But I promise your majesty I'll bring him back to Paris in an iron cage. Exaggerate all this. The soldiers. In an iron cage. <laughs> Nobody asked for that. Soldiers of the fifth. Do you recognize me? If you want to kill your emperor, I am.
Follow me to Grenoble. Straight? Well, come then, we'll show him your red head. Nay, the way you stood over me at Fontainebleau, forcing me to abdicate. I did what I had to do. For France. And what's good for France? I understand you made a promise to the king. 
Yes, sir. Something about a cage? Yes. What was it, exactly? I said I'd bring you back to Paris in an iron cage. <laughs> That's what I heard you say. The fat king must be carried from the throne! Perhaps the people will let me go as they let him come. We have a small problem to solve. What, sire? What? Why, when France wakes up tomorrow morning, it must have a government. Drouot? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sire. Let me tell you something. The most precious quality in life is loyalty. Loyalty. And you, Drouot, are a man, a rare man, untainted and true. Will you join me? I need you. With all my heart, sire. Thank you, Drouot. Salt. I see you got my invitation. Yes, sire. I understand you're no longer the king's minister of war. Obviously not, sire. Obviously not, Salt. <laughs> Silence! You're to be my chief of staff, except. I accept, sire. Good salt. All's well that ends well. Madam, your son Ferdinand was killed when he fell off a horse at a review. No, 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 no. Musse must go. We need more conscripts. We need more men. We must sweep the area again. Signature. Your son was very brave and persistent in his duties. I'm sorry, madam. That fate hasn't been more discriminating. To my dear Prince Alexis. I did not. You serve the crown. I found it in the gutter. And I, I picked it up with my 
my sword. And it was the people, Alexis. The people who put it on my head. He who saves a nation violates no law. To my beloved wife, I beg you not only as my wife, but as the daughter of Austria, my enemy, please return to me my most precious possession, my son. To the Prince Regent, England, Your Royal Highness, you've been my most generous enemy for 20 years, but now I want I want peace. Peace. Therefore, I protest the presence of Wellington. My son is my future. And I would rather see him dead than raised as a captive Austrian prince. Well, they've done it. They've declared me an enemy of humanity. All Europe has declared war against me. Not against France, but against me. They dignify you, sire, by making you a nation. <laughs> dignify? Dignify? They deny me the decency of law. They make it legal that any clown can kill me. What's the news of Wellington? Still in Brussels, sire. Still with old Blucher. They started the war. Let them bleed. Yes, let them bleed. Well, I'll discuss peace over Wellington's dead body. That's my peace table. Marshal Soult, sire. It's urgent. It's always urgent. Well, show him in. The armies of Wellington and Blucher have separated, sire. Separated? Yes, sire. Separated? Yes. <laughs> I wonder what history will say of them. <laughs> you know what we do, so We push Blucher aside, then we march on to Wellington, eh? Yes. Then it'll be a bloody day. Yes, sire. Oh, yes, so Everything depends on one big battle, just like at Marengo. Thank you, Sult. But at Marengo, I was young.
raided his whole regiment for my inspection this morning. So I just rode up and down, in and out, and nipped my fancy. Mama, you chose such big ones. the best of my generals. <laughs> we ladies just have to follow the drum. This season, soldiers are the fashion. Where would society be without my boys? <laughs> They're the salt of England, Arthur. Scum. Nothing but beggars and scoundrels. All of them. Gin is the spirit of their patriotism. Yet you expect them to die for you? Mm-hmm. Out of duty? Mm-hmm. Oh, I doubt if even Bonaparte could draw men to him by duty. Oh, Boney's not a gentleman. Arthur, what an Englishman you are. On a field of battle, his hat is worth 50,000 men. But he's not a gentleman. When we get to Paris, let me look at Napoleon. I promise I won't get too near. Mama admires him. I am a little bit of a Bonapartist. Is it true what they say that he's a monster? Mm. He eats laurels and drinks blood. And when, my dear Arthur, will you venture into his lair? Hmm? You know, he hasn't given me any idea. It all depends on... Uh... Cross the river. Tomorrow we'll dry our boots in Brussels. God willing, sire. God, God's got nothing to do with it.
Don't let young Hay get killed, Arthur. An engagement? I don't want Sarah to wear black before she's worn white. promised to get me a caress's helmet as a work basket. Without any blood on it, Mama. And one for me, young man. With the blood. Where do you intend to stick your Frenchman hay? I thought under the right arm, sir. See, Mama, he has a plan. When you meet a caressier, me to me, you'll be lucky if you bring away your life with you. Never mind his helmet. Boy, you'll learn the art of fighting from the French. Madam. I've never seen such a set of sprats. General Picton doesn't even know how to walk in a ballroom. But he's very good when he's dancing with the French. But one dances with them in a field. <laughs> gentlemen will spoil the dancing. It's Napoleon, sir. He has... I'm aware, Muffling. Napoleon has crossed the border. With all his forces, he has come between both our armies. Where? At Chalwa. Chalwa. Do you wish me to stop the ball, Arthur? No, 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 no. I want no alarm. All of us as obliged ladies will finish the dance. Axbridge, move your cavalry immediately towards Charleroi. Picton, your division will march out tonight. Charleroi. in Spain. We've had so little time together. But, Madeline, a battle is no place. I'm frightened. I may never see you again. On his right, he should be on his left by now. He should have come by mom's lodging. What could be simpler than Charlotte? He's humbugged me. In a night's march, he's made us piecemeal. I must concede he's gained a victory at the cost of bootlaces. If Marshal Blucher stays in Belgium, I stay too. On that promise, Lord Duke, Blucher would tie his men to trees if necessary. These four roads here. Quatre bras. He's bound to go for them, sir. If we can't hold him there, 
I'll stop him here. Shall <laughs> one? By God, that man does war on her. Glory is never a pretty sight. Nevertheless, 16,000 Prussian dead. That's good news, this slap on the walls of Paris. Wellington's on the run. I caught him at Catabra. He's retreating. If he's retreating, what are you doing here? Well, I came to make my report. If Wellington's retreating, what are you doing here? Why didn't you follow him? Why didn't you pursue him? Where were the reinforcements you promised me? Don't you dare criticize me. Don't you dare. Don't you see if Wellington's free to choose his ground, everything I've won in this campaign, you've lost? Marshal Blucher, the sector is broken. I have ordered a retreat. Retreat? I am 72 and a proud soldier. This steel is my word. I am too old to break it. If Wellington runs for the coast, None of us will get home to Berlin. The logical road is Namur. I do not trust the English. Nonetheless, because I have served you before, sir, I have ordered the retreat to Wavre. You may still cooperate with Wellington, but God help us if he does not stand. Bouchy! Gérard! You take 30,000 men. 30,000 men, one third of my army. You take them in and you pursue, you understand? You pursue Blucher. You don't let them regroup, you don't let them consolidate, and above all, you don't let them rejoin. But there are 10 different ways and directions Blucher might go, sire. Vavre and Namur. Blucher is not a scatter of birds, Marshal Grouchy. We'll find him on one road. Enough's enough! Less than have any disagreement, any disagreement will only lead to disaster. Is that understood? Grouchy, Gerard, you can go. Go, go, go. We will beat Napoleon next time! Luca will win! No, we will go forward! Luca will turn defeat into victory! Old Bluca. Damn good looking and rolled 18 miles back. <laughs> so. We go to keep on that way at all. Just as long as well, I suppose in England they'll say we've been licked. <laughs> Can't help that. That's mad. It's all madness. They know what they're doing. Look, I keep asking you, if Boney kicked the Prussians in the arse, why are we doing all the running? A retreating army is hardly ever in love with its commander. Right, sir. A few shots from the French and they'll be themselves again. I like the cut of your men, Gordon. Ah, damn forward fellas with a bayonet, Wellington. Meat and eggs from the cradle up and a lemon a month. That's still in the youth of gallows the crew was a common with a big jail and to set. All from my own acre, spread of myself. Some there could call me something more than Colonel, eh? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> that must be the whole army. They're still positioning, sire. Never interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake. That's bad manners, eh? <laughs> now, it's a bad position, Wellington. With that wood behind us, it's unsound. The they push us back, it'll be like a wall. The whole army will be cut to pieces. There's no undergrowth in that wood. You can drive a battery of nine-pounders. A whole army can slip through it like rain through a grate. It's suicidal, if you want to know. 
It may surprise you to know, Picton, that I saw this ground a year ago. And I've kept it in my pocket. Obviously, he's no student of Caesar. He's positioned himself badly. He's got the trees at his back. We'll give him no provocation. Maybe he'll leave tonight. Come on, come on. Your nose and your way right into the pot. Look, keep quiet, and I'll only eat half of you. Forgive me, sir, but if you took the troops into confidence, they'd know what they were about. Mm. If I thought my hair knew what my brain was thinking, I'd shave it off and wear a wig. Get your feet. Old friend, sir. Ah, the inn is given. I hang and flog more of them than I do the rest of the army put together. Good evening. Good evening. That's a fine night, sir. Uh, take off your pack, sir. Me, sir? You, sir. Yeah. Open it, sir. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> God! God! <laughs> um, jeez. I... I knew something queer was scratching me back, sir. Oh. <laughs> Where did you acquire this uh, plunder, sir? This, sir. That, sir. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, no, sir. This, uh, this plunder acquired me, uh, sir. Mm. You know the penalty for uh, plundering, sir. Yeah. Uh, stoppage of gin, sir. Damn you, sir! It's death, sir. I have to report. This, this little pig has lost its way, and and I'm trying to find. Her relations, sir. This fellow knows how to defend a hopeless position. Uh, Raise him to corporal. Yes, sir. Make it a goat next time, Paddy, <laughs> and you'll be a sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they'll do to the enemy. By God, they frighten me. Ah, oh, dirty night. Hard morrow. To answer? Yes, sir. If I fail, tomorrow. God, I hope, will have mercy on me. Or nobody else will. Why is he standing there? What is his reason? Has he lost his caution? There must be something I don't understand. If only Blucher could outrun Grouchy. Give me the help of even one call. The Prussians. It all depends on the Prussians. Why is it Grouchy does only six miles a day and I do ten? The mud on that slope would help us. We must slither up to it. 
But the roads could slow blue car, and that'd be the end of it. Well, tell him the roads are the same for everyone. True? True? Yes, sir. Then you tell him to walk faster. You may fight your battle, Field Marshal. You may fight your battle. Where is Grouchy? And his 30,000 men. Grouchy is following us, step by step. He's not between us. What's the time, hey? I think it's after two, Your Grace. It's ten to two, sir. Muffling, I must ask you to go out once more tonight. Oblige me with a fresh horse, sir. I beg! Marshal Blucher, to come to Waterloo by one o'clock. Don't you see, Uxbridge? Now, if, if Grouchy turns and comes between us... And catches a Prussian strung out on the march. Then it would be just a matter of counting our dead. With such a risk, dare we rely on Blucher? We have to rely on each other, Uxbridge. Gentlemen. Who did you give your watch to, Hay? Somerset, sir. Expecting to die tomorrow? I don't like those thoughts. Having them sometimes makes them come true. Get your watch back. Tomorrow I'll ask you the time every five minutes. Sire, should I send for Dr. Loray? Should I call the doctor? No, 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 doctor. Everyone out. I mustn't be sick. I mustn't be sick. I must have strength for tomorrow.
Talk to the likes of you and me. Hey, did you have bacon for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Ramsey. Morning, Cab. Filthy night, wasn't it? Morning, gentlemen. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. This one. What are you all staring at? You all right, sir. That was last night. <laughs> <laughs> Never felt better in my life. Come, we eat. I'm afraid this afternoon you'll all need bigger napkins. <laughs> <laughs> we attack at nine. What's the condition of the ground? It will not dry before noon, sire. Well, we've fought with mud in our boots before. That's true, that's true. What's that? Sunday morning. The priest in Blanc's Noir won't give up his mass. Well, he won't have much of a congregation.
I'm not asleep to... Sire, we need four hours. The ground is too soft, I cannot move my cannon. If I waited four hours, I would have lost the Battle of Austerlitz. Wellington won't hold us an hour. Not with that buoy of ass of his. English, Brunswickers, Belgians, and God knows what else. Sire, I cannot answer for my cannon. You are the cannon, Drew. If we could attack at 12, it would be better. Battles are lost and won in a quarter of an hour. If Wellington were on the move, then I would say, go now. But he is sitting, sire, with the mud in his favor. In his favor. <laughs> second-in-command, and in case anything should happen to you. What are your plans? To beat the French. fellows, these French. Music and banners. Quite beautiful. You're a lucky fellow, aren't you, Hay? To see such a wonder in your first battle. Napoleon has ridden within range. May I have your permission to try a shot? Certainly not. Commanders of armies have something better to do than to fire at each other. I don't like cheering, but there's always a time to cut cards with the devil. Would you kindly announce me, Delancey? Who's the lad who leathers the French? 
Who's the boy with the hooky nose? I've no need of a white horse to puff me, by God. Who gives sword to Marshal Soot? Who gives Jolly Fred Soy a jolt? Who's the beef that will peck on his bum? Who makes the parley vu to run? Who's the boy with the hooky nose? here than a were for the siege of Troy. Yes. You can tell by the position of his guns, his might is on the right side. So that's what he's afraid of, his right. Therefore, that's where we'll tease him. We'll have a diversionary action. We'll... We'll tease him on the right side. Then, if he weakens his center to support the right... Then... Then I'll know the caliber of this English aristocrat. Gentlemen. Today's fox. Clever chap, your tailor, hey? Dunmore and Locks. In St. James, your grace. Remind me of that, Delancey. I always like my men well-dressed for the enemy. La Bedway Air. Yes, sir. Do you have any children? Yes, sir. I have one son. Very young. No taller of any boot. And if he were with you, would you want him to be here today? Yes. Yes, why? So he could see you, sir. <laughs> See me. You know I have a son. And I'd give anything in the world to see him. I'd give my heart, I'd give my life. But not here. I wouldn't want him to witness this battle today. His main strength is beyond that hill. What he shows me is only a facade. He is clever. Clever.
We'll begin the attack there. At Ougamont. Well, that opens the ball. 35 minutes past 11. Thank you, gentlemen. Return to your positions. Return to your positions. Master seems to intend, and what he does will be as different as White Knight to Black Bishop. We can quickly move the 95th down, sir. I do not intend to run around like a wet hen. There'll be plenty of time, sir. hasn't moved. Now's the time to move all the heavy artillery against Picton. It 
seems he's swinging his weight to you, Picton. I've never seen guns move so smoothly. Moves his cannon with the likeness of a pistol. I doubt a balance brigade will stand. Never mind. Let him have a taste of it. If they don't run first. Coming on in the same old style. So we'll have to meet them in the same old style. This one's going to take careful timing. While you can, the French will have it out of you in a minute, anyway. Dick? No, thank you. Have a supper, Jim. With His Majesty's compliments. Remind me to thank him next time we visit the palace. What would you say? There are many of them. Look, I'm not God, am I? To see through a hill. It's like... It's like the whole of bloody hell is coming up out of the ground. Nothing frightens me more than being next to a friend of the Almighty. Jeez. Then second, we're prepared! To advance! Before we go, Axbridge. You don't see its like anymore. My father left us a hundredweight, down to the last ounce. An old Jew in Alexandria had the blend. <laughs> blend? <laughs> My father, poor fellow, was killed by the French. Never should have happened. His horse got bogged in a ploughed field and the brute just gave up. Seven damn lances had him like a tiger in a pit. Bad luck, eh, Axbridge? Damn bad luck. Yes, particularly bad luck. He had 400 better horses at his stables at Hatton. <laughs> Violence brigade is broke. Plug the gap, if you please. Now's the time for the heavy cavalry, I think. By all means, sir. Gordon. Get your bastards up onto the crest. I'll bring up the rest of the brigade. Don't hurry yourself, Pick. My lads will hold them. I till you come. Get forward, damn your eyes. The 92nd will advance. Return, McCurry! Is Wellington nothing to offer me but these Amazons?
Watts Grays. Now! Those men on grey horses are terrifying. They are the noblest cavalry in Europe and the worst led. That may be. That may be. But we'll match them with our lances. Stop that useless noise. You'll hurt yourself. My son, right on, save yourself.
God, sir. The cannon are calling us. March to the sound of the guns. We are a third of the army. Our duty is to... Do not presume to teach me my duty, General Gerard. My orders from the Emperor were precise. To keep my sword in Brooker's back. If you will not march to the sound of the guns, allow me to go. And divide my force. France would hang me. Maybe France would be right. La Bedway! Yes, sir. What's moving there? I see men marching in column. Maybe five or six thousand. He's right. I see horses now. Horses? But whose? The French or the Prussians? I think it's Grouchy's blue, sir. It's what we feared, sir. Grouchy has come across. <laughs> Damn it, it could be Prussian black. Your eyes are young. You tell me the colour. I think they're... I think they're... Prussians. That's not necessary. That's not necessary. It's the Prussians. But as far as you and I are concerned, and the army, they're on the moon. Is that understood? Yes, sir. This Wellington wages war in a new way. He fights sitting on his ass. Well, we'll have to move him off it. Where is Grouchy? Lae Sank. The one who wins the farmhouse wins the battle. Go on. Your doctor, I advise you to come off the field, sire. Sire, you must lie down for an hour. I'm all right. It's, it's just my stomach. I'm all right. I'm all right. I said I would have six more good years. And now it's ten years and nine campaigns later. Listening? Every word. After I'm dead and I'm gone, what do you think the world will say of me? It will say you extended the limits of glory. Is that all I'm going to leave my son? The limits of glory? He's concentrating his cavalry. The infantry is still sitting. 
Smoke without fire. What's he at? A hard pounding, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Lord Hay. Your Grace? Take yourself for a run. General Lambert will retire a hundred paces between the reverse slopes. But Your Grace! Do as you're told, sir! General Order! The army will retire a hundred paces! The army will retire one hundred paces! The 27th will take position behind the Gordons! Sir, it's a bad policy to stay near a tree in a thunderstorm. It attracts the bolt. I'll take your impudent advice.
said, stop him, someone! I'm a Tommy gun! General Lambert, my best wishes. Delancey, move that battery down towards Ugomor. You will be killed. What else should the general die but on the fire? You must go back. Please. my position on the left, sir. I want what remains of us here. Here! Here. Every brigade! Every battalion! Here!
Put every gun to them, sir. Every gun. Very good, sir. The lads are down to five rounds a man, Wellington. Oh, aye, they'll stand. If Marshal Blucher doesn't come through now, they'll break every bone in my body. Good beans, Wellington. If there is anything in this world about which I know positively nothing, it is agriculture. in my life, I should have burnt Berlin. Raise high the black flags, children. No pity. No prisoners. I'll shoot any man I see with pity in him. Forward! Won it back again at seven! Is it Russian? Not to them! Not to them! Not to them! Fight, fight, Stand with me! Are you French? Stand with me! Are you the guy?
damn me, Uxbridge. If I ever saw 30,000 men run a race before. The whole line will advance. In which direction, Your Grace? Why, straight ahead, to be sure. invites you to save your lives. Will you agree to surrender?
Next to a battle lost, the saddest thing is a battle won. leave this place of dead flesh. They will chain you, like Prometheus, to a rock where the memory of your own greatness will gnaw you. <laughs> 